not just the dedication and the loyalty, it's the freaking juice. <laughs> it's bringing it. And I asked a lot of them, and uh, they were good at it, and I appreciate that a lot. Sure can't be anything but grateful for what he's done for the team in the city. I love Pete. He OG forever. After 14 years, 10 playoff appearances, and a Super Bowl win, Pete Carroll is out as Seahawks head coach. You just heard Carroll get emotional when talking about his coaches, players, and his wife. Seahawks chair Jody Allen released a statement on Pete's departure as coach on social media. It says in part, quote, after thoughtful meetings and careful consideration for the best interest of the franchise, we have amicably agreed with Pete Carroll that his role will evolve from head coach to remain with the organization as an advisor. We have team coverage for you tonight. Camo's Jackie Kent has stunned reaction from the 12s. We want to begin with Camo's Michelle Esteban, who was at that press conference at the VMAC with more. Michelle. Hi there, Mary. Just a really bittersweet day here at the VMAC. We did just hear from Pete, and at times, as you saw just there, he got choked up. He was an emotional guy. He is on the field, and he was here today. He spoke about how he loved every minute being with the Seahawks and being the head coach. Carol, though, didn't take any specific questions about what happened, other than to make it clear that his intention was to stay with the Hawks. You'll hear from him in just a minute. He said for a variety of reasons, they mutually agreed for the team to set a new course. Both Geno Smith and Bobby Wagner showed up for his news conference this afternoon. The room absolutely packed with staff, made it clear they appreciate him. You know, he has a reputation as a player's coach, and he emphasized how the league is about the players and the value and importance of players. He also talked some regrets. He said it's about the win and said they lost their edge to be great. The last three seasons, you know, they have been an issue for the Seahawks this year. As we all know, they couldn't get into the playoffs. It's been an honor and a thrill to be part of this program. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. And it's clear that, uh, and for a variety of reasons, um, we, we have mutually agreed uh, to set a new course and uh, for the club um, to, to take on new leadership. And uh, that's just a decision that's been made, and, and uh, um, there's a lot that went into that. You know, maybe it is time for a new coach under the Seahawks. You know what I'm saying? We've missed the playoff the past few years. As much energy as Pete has, uh, it's great to have a fresh perspective on that sort of thing to inspire the guys in a different way. Everybody I talked to had nothing but appreciation. And look at this moment when he left the podium. He got a standing ovation from players, staff. John Schneider, the GM, was there. And you can see what it meant to Pete. He will meet with his players next. Carol back out here live at 72, though, is staying on with the Hawks as an advisor this afternoon. No surprise, he spoke about his love for his players, spoke highly of them and GM John Schneider and what they did over the years. Of course, that Super Bowl win. In a team statement posted by Chair Jody Allen, Mary, you mentioned it. One of the other things that she also emphasized is this, that Pete Carroll will always be a beloved member of the Seahawks family. Reporting live at VMAC, I'm Michelle Esteban. We'll throw it back to you. Thanks, Michelle. Former Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson took to X today, posting about his former longtime coach. Wilson says, quote, one of the greatest ever. Keep shooting, coach. Grateful for the memories. Pete Carroll, best is ahead. Wilson is one of thousands sharing their thoughts and memories about Pete Carroll's time here. This is just a small sampling of what we're tracking on social media. Mostly positive thoughts, wishing him well in the road ahead. A lot of people have a lot to say about the team's decision. Come with Jackie Kent is live in Soto with some local reaction now. Jackie. Yeah, Mary, we keep hearing stories like we just heard from you and Eric. This is an emotional topic for a lot of people. Many of the 12s we've heard from today tell us they grew up watching Pete Carroll on the sidelines. And as you can imagine, they are devastated, calling this the end of an era. Some others say still frustrated with how this season turned out, not quite making it to the playoffs. And they say, while it's bittersweet, this is the right decision and they're ready for a change. Pro Image Sports near Lumen Field is working on designing and ordering Pete Carroll merch. That includes shirts and other items as a thank you to coach. The store manager remembers the highlights of the past 14 years. That includes Carroll being the winningest coach in Seahawks history and also reflects on the whole city's excitement when Carroll helped bring the team its only Super Bowl win nearly a decade ago. Others say they're confident this change was the right move and it'll bring momentum the team needs moving forward. What are you going to miss about Coach Carroll? 
Honestly, all the uh, the energy that he brings, you know, he's always fired up. You know, in the locker room, the press conferences, he always has some like positive things to say about, you know, a little bit of everything. I was just like, well, that's that that'll be good. Change is good. It's something new. The team it wasn't doing great this year. I was just like, bring in someone new. It's been kind of stagnant. A lot of mixed reactions out here. Others agree they are anxious for a new chapter for the franchise. Even touched on Pete Carroll's age as he has been the oldest coach in the NFL. They say the Hawks need younger talent to compete with other young coaches. Meanwhile, many remain grateful that Carroll will still have an influence on the team in his new advisor role. We'll have a lot more on that coming up at 8 o'clock tonight. For now, live in Soto, Jackie Kent, come on news. Jackie, thank you. And today's Come of Pulse poll is about Pete Carroll. Preston is tracking the result of the live desk. Preston. I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. 2,200 votes about right now. So a lot of people voting on this. We keep getting them by the minute. It's easy to vote. To vote right now, just scan the QR code here on your screen. That's going to take you right to comonews.com. And that's where you can cast your vote. So here's the question we're asking this evening. How do you feel about Pete Carroll not returning as the Seahawks head coach? Uh, right now, the most people, 55%, they're saying sad, but the right choice. 30% they all, it's a big mistake and then 15 percent say that's yeah, about time we're always committed to being your voice on the issues that matter most our local como pulse poll it's a great way for you to speak out and have your voice heard